Hey guys, welcome back to No Catch Name. It's me, Ella. Today I'm coming at you with another tip video. Today's tip is going to be about starting circles. Like if you're working on an amigurumi or a square blanket pattern that starts off with a circular shape. This is the, uh, if you start with a chain two or however many chains and make it a two circle. And then this would be using the magic loop or magic circle, however uh, the pattern says. <laughs> um, sometimes magic ring or sometimes it's called a cinch, cinch circle. Uh, it's got a couple of names. <laughs> but yeah, I wanted to show you the difference between the two. And I prefer this method, which is the magic circle or magic ring, whatever. Um, because you can close the circle up entirely. This is really good for amigurumis and also blanket squares if you don't want a big hole in it. Now, when you do the chain method, you don't always have a big hole. It really depends on the hook and yarn you're using and the amount of stitches you need to put in it. But a lot of times there is a big hole. This right here is made with a chain two and then you work your six stitches into the chain two. This is the hole that came up. This is worsted weight yarn and I think I'm using a J hook? Yeah. A six millimeter J hook right here. This is the chain method, and this is the magic um, circle, magic ring, whatever you want to call it. So I wanted to show you. <coughs> All right. So if you're starting off with the chain method, I'm rolling my hook everywhere. <laughs> uh, it it'll tell you to um, chain. Let's just say two, and then you work your six single crochet into the um, second loop or second chain. So you would chain two, and then in your second chain is where you would start. So let's just say that the pattern says to make six single crochets into that. So there's one, two, three, four, five, six. And then you would find your first chain, your first stitch, rather, and slip stitch to it. And see, that would be my beginning. It would have this hole, which you could, you could leave a long tail and sew it up, up closed later, or you could just take a shortcut, which is what I do, <laughs> and just make a magic ring, magic circle, magic loop cinch circle etc and that you start with the yarn tail in your hand this is how i do it there's plenty of ways to do it you wrap it around your two fingers and when you get to the top you cross it over so this is your first piece of yarn and this is where you wrapped it around go under the first piece of yarn and above the second one grab the second one and pull it under and when you come up it twists kind of and then you would yarn over and pull through and that would be considered your first chain so if you're making double crochets into the circle you would then chain two more and that would be your chain three but we're doing single crochets so we're gonna go um, just with the one chain so then I would make six three four five six all right and then I <clears throat> we'll take this little loose end and pull on it and it would tighten it up. Now here's another tip inside of a tip. Before you pull the circle tight, go back to your first stitch and go ahead and join it. It's a lot easier that way before you pull it tight. Oh, I can't get my yarn. Then I would slip stitch that and then you would take your, your loose end and I always just kind of put my finger on my crochet so that I don't accidentally stretch it. And you pull your your ring shut and that closes up that hole and then when you're done with your project or you could do it immediately you could go and weave in this loose end and here it is again so it's the same size yarn same size hook just different method I like this method better because when I make amigurumi you know obviously I don't want stuff and showing and like I said you could do it this method and go back and just close up the hole manually but it's just easier to do it there in the beginning and have it done with and not have to worry about it. I'll show you again how to make the magic ring if you would like. I'll use this lighter color it might be easier to see. So you take your yarn tail and you hold it on your two fingers <laughs> 
you wrap it around and when you get back up to the top you don't lay it over this way you cross it over and then you put your hook under the first yarn and grab the second one pull it through and then you kind of twist it like that and then you take your working yarn and make a chain one that is your cinch circle now if you were doing double crochets you could or half double you could do two or if you're doing double you do uh, three and that would that could in some patterns that could count as your first or it could just be the chain three to get your hot and then you would just work your stitches into the, the hole and then when you get the amount of stitches you need you would just pull it closed and see how that pulls it shut like that it's pretty easy I learned this I learned the chain method first and then I learned the magic loop last <laughs> and uh, after I learned the magic loop I pretty much do that always even if I have a pattern that tells me to chain two and work in the second um, chain I always just do the magic loop anyways because I like the clothes better than uh, the chain method here's another look this is the chain method typically there's a hole and then the magic loop much better much crisper I think yeah so there's a tip for you today